Good morning to all of you here in person this morning and all who are watching Facebook and YouTube. Unfortunately, again, William is not here with us this morning. He is on bereavement leave. Sheena is in the air. Well, I think she actually might be in London now in the return from Canada. Helen's at the General Assembly preparing for a big speech on Tuesday. Lindsay's tied up with Inver Kitten Skemmerly. Because all the other possible replacements coming for ministers, they're all coming for ministers at the General Assembly. So you've got the substitutes for the substitutes again, me and Francis. Sorry about that. We're doing things slightly different this morning, and it was a bit of a songs of praise. So and they have been picked by the elders. So if you don't like them, don't blame us. Blame them. So we start as we normally do with our welcome song, Welcome Everybody. Oh, the intro, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> I always get an intro wrong, do I? Now we start as we normally do with a welcome song, Welcome Everybody. So there is one or two church notices. Uh, as we intimated last week, due to the circumstances, the church's annual business meeting due today has been cancelled and a new date will be intimated soon. A big thanks to all who helped at the Christian Aid bread and soup lunch after the service last week. And the Christian Aid envelopes are still available this morning for anyone who wishes to contribute. And if you have yours with you today, please place them in the offering basket later in the service. And if anyone has their Christian Aid quiz finished, please pass these to Kathleen, and winners will be announced later. We've had one so far, and it's got 19 out of 20. So let's see if anybody's got 20 out of 20. Next Sunday service will be conducted by Sheena, right? And William will be back at work a week on Monday, that's the 29th. And just a reminder that the Dove Cafe uh, will be open this Wednesday, starting at 1.30. This is Ascension Sunday, the Christian holiday of Ascension Day, also known as the Feast of Ascension, celebrates when Jesus ascended to heaven. The feast day is one of the ecumenical feasts of Christian churches, along with the celebrations of Passion, Easter and Pentecost. Ascension Day is generally observed on the 40th day after Easter. So we now light our candle to remind us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and in him there is no darkness. So let us worship God by singing our first hymn as the deer plants for the water. Mm -hmm. 
we might worship you honestly. Lift our thoughts above the pressures of our everyday lives, that we might confess our hidden sorrows and our stolen joys, our hidden sins and our stolen intentions of grace. We come before you with the sincere intent of seeking to worship you in spirit and in truth. Take from our hearts the stresses and strains that have shaped our attitudes and actions. Help us to see you in all your glory, and in doing so, see the true image of who we are meant to be. Open the windows of our hearts to let the light of your glory transform our vision in service, even in the smallest of actions that will make life better for another. Teach us how to love you and in doing so, discover we are loving our neighbour. Let your love now live through us as we pray the words you taught us. Our Father. sing Blessed Assurance. <laughs>
scripture reading this morning is from the book of Acts and will be read by Donna. Reading from Acts 1, verses 1 to 11. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, for which you have heard me speak about. For John baptised with water, but in a few days you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered round him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the very ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. May God bless this reading of his words. Thank you, Donna. We continue with the hymn, the most requested hymn. Right, this is every elder picked this one. I, the Lord of Sea and Sky.
As we mark and celebrate the ascension of the Lord, the saying, all good things must come to an end, never sounded more suitable and appropriate. Just before the passion and suffering of Jesus, his friends and followers saw him being betrayed, denied and condemned. They stood at a distance and watched him die a very public and humiliating death. Some of them even deserted him. When they were told by some of the others that they had seen the Lord, they refused to believe them. They doubted. In fact, most of them doubted. Eventually, after seeing the risen Lord for themselves several times, they believed that he had indeed risen from the dead. And now, Jesus is preparing them for his departure and his return to heaven. They thought that they had lost Jesus once when he died, now they have to face the reality of life without him again. Jesus is leaving them, but he's not leaving them alone. He's not deserting or abandoning them. In fact, he is going to be with them in a very personal and intimate way forever. Jesus told his followers that he would give them another believer to be with them forever, the Holy Spirit. Through the Spirit, Jesus will be with them and us forever. Before Jesus takes his leave of them, he passes on and entrusts them with the responsibility of carrying on his mission of proclaiming the good news and of establishing the kingdom of God. This ordinary group of men and women are the ones who are chosen by Jesus to be the heralds and witnesses of the resurrection. Through their words and actions, the world will know that Jesus is alive and more alive and present than ever he was. As Jesus' earthly life ends, theirs and our mission and ministry begins. Today, that responsibility now belongs to us. The first friends and followers of Jesus are our ancestors and we are their descendants. It's now up to each of us in our own way to carry on the mission and ministry of Jesus. Through us today, the world will know that Jesus is alive, present and active in our world. Every Christian is a missionary to the extent that they've experienced the love of God in Jesus. And even though we are celebrating the ascension of Jesus, he has not left us, deserted or abandoned us. He is with us when we gather and break bread with each other. He is with us when we reach out to help and support each other. These are the signs that Jesus is in us and with us today and forever. Amen. We continue with the hymn, To God Be the Glory.
the offering will now be uplifted, and as it's carried forward, we will sing Praise God, the Source of Life and Birth. <coughs> to our prayers for their offering and ourselves and others. And as always, there will be a moment of silence for your own personal prayers. Dear God, as we lay before you our financial offering, we give you all that we are and everything that you have entrusted to us. Come bless these <coughs> gifts for the sake of your kingdom and glory. Let us pray for world peace as we remember countries throughout the world where there is tension and unrest. Grant to our leaders the wisdom to make the right decisions. May love cover a multitude of sins and allow justice and peace to blossom. We pray especially for those who are part of the emergency services, doctors, nurses and all the support staff who work in the NHS, those in the armed forces, for teachers and administrators, and for all who work in our education system. Lord, we pray for our family and friends. Lord, bless and prosper them. Give to each of us the insight to know when to speak and when to be silent, to know when to offer help and when help is required without asking. Be close to those we know who are struggling with ill health <coughs> and facing an uncertain future. Give strength to those who are struggling financially in these difficult times. We pray for your church, that she should be a place of true worship. We, we pray especially for those who are bereaved or ill in hospital. We pray for our personal needs. We take a moment of silence to bring before you what we are personally thankful for and what is troubling us. Lord, hear our prayers. We give thanks to you, O God, for your unfailing goodness and your love. Amen. We will now sing, I heard the voice of Jesus say.
morning, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. No, it's not William. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Robert. Thank you. That's better. What did we start? What did we do last week? High five, wasn't it? Fist bump. Right, down there. Fist bump. Right, everybody ready? After three. One, two, three. Yes. So, the any news this week? Oh, the hands up. We'll start from the side. Right. It's my cousin's birthday this week. Your cousin? Who's your cousin? Lucas. Lucas? What age is he? Or she? <laughs> Two. Two? What age are you now? Six. Six? Oh, get it back. Who else? Daniel. I'm going to camp next weekend. Camp next weekend? Who with? Uh, Cubs and Scouts. Where's it going? Loch Lomond. So the Scouts are away next week. The BB's away next week as well. They're in Auchin Foil, I'm looking for something. Yes. Right. So we'll all need to sing louder next week. Hazel. Who else? Oh, sorry, Abby. Come to Hazel at the end. Keep the, keep the rest to the end. <laughs> Since you didn't talk to me last week. Abby. I got a trophy. You got a trophy. You did like a trophy last night, didn't you? What was it for? For Girls Brigade. For what? What did you do in the Girls Brigade for that? No, I can't remember. <laughs> so, oh, let's see the trophy. <laughs> it is, it's the Janice Young Trophy. For those of us who remember Janice Young. Right. Uh, I was actually astounded last night when I said it was 25 years ago since Janice passed away. So it's a Janice Young Trophy presented to Abby Artless for enthusiasm and endeavour. There we go. friends trying to get you some prime. You've got a thing about this prime, haven't you? You haven't really had a prime. We'll, 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 we'll skip over the prime again, because mummy's got a hand over her face here. Hazel. I like Eddie Sorry? I like Eddie and You went to where? Eddie and Fears. Oh, to play games. And what do you play? Who won? You won? Oh, that's not a surprise. Right. What did you learn today about? Yes, right now. Jesus going back up to heaven. Jesus going back up to heaven, that's right. Now, because William's not here today, I, I couldn't make up anything else about Jesus going up to heaven other than what I said when you went in. Right, so who likes the action songs up the front? Right. Yes, the good news is we're going to do two today. So everybody up the front, including all the teachers and everybody else, and everybody that knows it can come and join in. Yes, you've got to go up. This one on on YouTube somewhere. Okay, now you know the actions, you know what to do. So if I can just listen to it, you can do it. 
Right? Okay. And you can thank God for making you special. Oh, there's nothing special about me. Who said that? Me, boring little me. Do you know Jesus? Yeah. Well, do you have Jesus living in your heart? Mm-hmm. Well, then you're special. You're God's special child. I am? You are. I am? You are. I am. I'm God's special child. I'm special. And don't you forget it. Now, how about singing this song? Yeah, let's sing. Can I start? Sure, be my guest.
standing for the benediction. Go back safely to your homes, knowing that the Lord will be with you all times, good and bad. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now, all, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you.